This is the morning weather update. This is for Thursday, the 26th of October. This is James Spann. Alabama's weather will stay warm and dry today, but we need rain. Unfortunately, prospects don't look good for beneficial rain for a while through next week. However, we are expecting a major temperature change next week. Here's the upper air look early this morning. And again, we have this big ridge right on top of us. And underneath the ridge, it's just not going to rain. A lot of subsidence, dry air. So we stay warm and dry today. This will be deflecting the major waves west and north of the state to at least the next seven days. The closest rain to Alabama this morning is over Texas. In fact, we have some flash flood warnings in effect for parts of Texas. Raining pretty heavily at Dallas-Fort Worth, and quite frankly, that's some rain they could use. They've had a very, very hot and dry summer. We're mostly in the 60s to start the day across Alabama. We're expecting highs in the low 80s in most spots today. That's about 10 degrees above average. But ooh, look in the northern states. Winter storm warnings continue for parts of Montana and North Dakota early this morning where snow continues to fall there. And that cold air will be making its way down here by early next week. Here's the severe weather outlook for uh, today and tonight, no organized severe weather expected. Maybe some thunder west of the state. Same thing tomorrow and pretty much the same thing on Saturday. Here's a look at rain for the next seven days. This is valid through Thursday morning of next week. And again, the better rains over parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, up into parts of southern Illinois and Indiana. And around here, just not much at all. And the drought conditions will continue to intensify across the state. Uh, the new drought monitor should be released at any minute now. It's, it's released every Thursday morning. So by the time we do the afternoon video today, we'll have the new drought monitor. But it, it will only continue to worsen uh, over the next uh, 7 to 10 days. In the tropics, we've got the one system on the board that is TAMI, and that is now post-tropical. Just look at the seven-day outlook, and again, uh, we've got one feature that's off the Central American coast. That is the ghost of former Tropical Depression 21 that was in the Southwest Caribbean. That could become a tropical system there, but again, the Gulf of Mexico should stay very quiet. There's a look at Tammy. You see the comma-shaped cloud, and that is not a warm-core tropical system now. That is a cold-core gale. And so this is the last advisory issued by the National Hurricane Center. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS. This is the 06Z run. Valid today at four. The upper high sitting on top of us. Cold trough back over the northern states. And again, the better chance of rain today from Texas up to the Great Lakes. We are warm and dry with low 80s. Same thing tomorrow. Same thing Saturday. Rain as close as Little Rock and Tulsa, but uh, nothing here. We're expecting highs in the low to mid 80s, a very warm October weekend. And the same thing on Sunday, the Upper Ridge doing its thing. It's like putting up a brick wall, keeping the rain producers west and north of here. Now, Monday, the ridge begins to break down and that surface front will be coming in here. And there might be a little rain on the front, but probably not much. But the big story, it's the thermal contrast setting up. This is 4 o'clock Monday afternoon coming off the GFS, uh, the American Global Model. And look at the contrast here. If this verifies, temperatures would be in the 40s Monday afternoon over the Tennessee Valley and in the 80s over the southern half of the state. That's almost a 40-degree swing. And again, no severe weather, probably not much rain at all with that front. And then Tuesday, everybody gets in the cool air. High should be in the 50s over the northern half of the state with a pretty chilly north wind for the trick-or-treaters. Tuesday evening, temperatures will likely be in the 40s about 7 o'clock Tuesday evening. So be aware of that. Many, many years as a kid, I remember you know, Halloween's where you're just sweating in these Halloween costumes. You know, we can be in the low 80s Halloween here. We can be in the 40s like that. But it's going to be a very chilly one this year. This is Wednesday of next week. We're still dry. And a week from today, Thursday, the 2nd of November, a northwest flow aloft. And once again, 
No rain for most of the state. So we're just having a hard time getting some rain. But understand November does represent the beginning of the tornado season. And typically we see more frequent rain producers and storm events as we get deeper into November. In fact, let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday, the 4th of November. The upper high begins to rebuild. And if this works out, that would be a mild, dry day. Here's a look at rain for Birmingham coming off the European Ensemble. And again, just not much. Uh, the amounts under one inch, the mean under one inch between now and the 10th of November. But look at the big drop off here. National Blend of Models. This is for Birmingham. 83 on Saturday and Sunday. And then by Tuesday and Wednesday, highs go in the 50s. And let me just point out on Monday, you see it's got a high of 75. And that could come during the morning hours. And for parts of central Alabama, we could see falling temperatures during the day Monday. Temperatures going the wrong way, so keep that in mind. And also note we've got 30s showing up Wednesday and Thursday morning, which means some of the colder pockets could see the first freeze of the season by Wednesday and Thursday morning of next week. And then we bounce back with a high close to 70 by Sunday, the 5th of November. And the latest 8 to 14 day guidance, this is for November 2nd through November 8th. Temperatures near average around here. You know, sometimes you just need to look at a smiling baby. That will make people happy. That is Harlow. And we have featured Harlow many times in different scenes, mostly sunset scenes. But you got to like a smiling baby with a bunch of fall leaves. I had a chance to meet Harlow at a book signing up in Blunt County several months ago, and hey, hey, you know the deal. If you send me a picture of a cow, barbed wire fence, somehow that always makes it. That was uh, yesterday. Now, this is not Alabama. This was in Montana. I want to say these photographs were taken near Kalispell, Montana yesterday, where they are under a winter storm warning, the clashing of the seasons. They've still got some fall leaves with snow on the ground. And these shots were taken in adjacent parts of North Dakota, yesterday. How about that? It is their first big snow of the season, pre-Thanksgiving. But around here, we can all enjoy the fall colors. I was taken in Mountain Brook yesterday. This was taken up uh, by the Little River Canyon, just uh, gorgeous. Uh, here in Alabama, the colors will be peaking between now and the next uh, 10 days or so, the first week in November. So if you get a, get a chance, get out and really enjoy it. It's a marvelous Marvelous time of the year, the golden days of fall. Headed to Coleman County today. Love going to Coleman County. Welty Elementary School. Up in Coleman County between Hansville and Holly Pond. That'll be a lot of fun. And then tomorrow, Forest Oaks Elementary School in Shelby County and Chelsea. And then Chelsea again tomorrow evening for Friday Night Rivals. Our Friday Night Rivals game of the week over on Channel 68, our sister station, Hewitt Trustful at Chelsea. I'll be live there at 4, 5, and 6 on ABC 3340. Live on Blitz Game Day on Channel 68 at 630. The game itself at 7 on Channel 68. And once again, no book signing this Saturday. We're taking a day off. How about that? Of course, we've got you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.